Another rule that, that, that's, that's big is this one, okay? Some people may not even consider this a rule that's worth breaking. Christmas cookies are supposed to look like Christmas cookies. Now, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you probably have an idea of what a Christmas cookie is supposed to look like, and it's probably not this. <laughs> Those are pretty ugly. Some of you might think, well, that's kind of how mine look. But probably not on purpose, right? These cookies were not made by a four-year-old. They were not made by accident. They were made on purpose. And let me tell you the story. These, these, these ugly cookies, the story of these start, start like this. Uh, there was a mother many, many years ago who had a lot of things to do for Christmas. She had a list a mile long. And she had guests coming over that evening, but she still had a lot of errands to run. So she decided she was going to try this newfangled thing she'd heard so much about called delegation. So she turned to her husband and her son. And she had this recipe. She said, here's the recipe. There's like seven ingredients and five steps. Just follow it. You'll be fine. I need you to make the Christmas cookies for me. Now, normally, mom or dad and the son didn't like getting chores from mom, but in this case, they were actually excited because Christmas cookies is like their favorite part of Christmas, particularly the eating part of Christmas, right? And so they decided, they, they pulled out the, the stuff and they started to put together a plan. And they said, you know what? If we make these cookies as disgusting looking as possible, there will be more for us. <laughs> this is how guys think. I don't know. What... And so they pushed aside the normal Christmas cookie cutters and they pulled out things like cows and cactuses and hands, not, not mittens, hands. And they pulled out the, the food coloring and they went to town on these cookies. And when the mom came home, she about flipped. She's like, what in the world are these? these? What did you guys do? Didn't you follow me? She was freaking out. Well, she didn't have time to create any more cookies before her guests were coming, so she made sure that every single person that walked in the room knew, I didn't make those. <laughs> and she told them the story of the ugly cookies, and when they heard it, they laughed. And when they saw the cookies, they laughed harder. <laughs> but then one brave soul decided, I'm going to try one, and she did, and she tasted it, and she realized they were delicious. And so the original plan completely blew up in the faces of the, the husband and the son, but they, just, they decided, well, next year we just have to make them uglier. <laughs> and so that's what they tried to do in the year after that and the year after that. And they couldn't just stop with cookies. They moved on to cakes. <laughs> that is the son, by the way, and that in the middle is a graduation cake, in case you're, <laughs> in case you're wondering. So these guys have been breaking rules left and right. They make Christmas cookies that don't look like Christmas cookies. Martha Stewart would have a conniption with those cookies, right? They make graduation cakes that don't look like proper graduation cakes. But what did they do? They had fun, they created a memory, and they created a tradition that has lasted for 20 years. In fact, who do you think sent me these photos? The mom! The mom is proud of it. It's a family tradition. In fact, her mom, the grandma, recently asked for an ugly birthday cake. <laughs> she made a request. So it's, this is an example of one of those things. It's not a life or death sort of thing, but it's an example of how many things do we do every single day, every single year, that we don't even think about. We do it a certain way because we've always done it that way, or our parents did it that way, or our teachers told us to do it that way, and it doesn't really have to be done that way. There's a, ton, there's a million of these kinds of rules.